Hi, we're going to have a look at um, the DS0138 digital oscilloscope. Uh, this is um, available on eBay. I've found very many sites which you can buy this from. This is uh, basically a digital oscilloscope. What you need to power this up is um, a 9 volt power source. Uh, the unit has a 5 volt regulator so anything above 5 volts should work but maximum should be around 12 volt okay we've got uh, various switches here we can uh, have a look at uh, these are the coupling switches which you got DC, AC and ground this is sensitivity which is 10 millivolt 100 millivolt and 1 volt and this is the time switch times 1, times 2 and times 5 in here you have a point where you can do a test there's a test um, square wave in there uh, this is your power input this is another power input these are four switches which you can select the options and then change them and there's an OK switch in there there's your reset button and there's a triggering LED in there you also have various um, test points in here and also various test points in there and a USB input um, as you can see I've mounted mine to a piece of board so it doesn't short on anything when I try and use it also I've added a ground voltage piece of wire so I can easily connect that to my equipment okay now we're gonna see the unit power up I'm gonna power up I've got a power pack you can see it booting up and the unit has booted up okay so let's have a look at a couple of things first we'll make sure it's working so you've got a waveform there so we're gonna have a look at these switches so I've, I've reduced the waveform now to 0.1 of a volt. Uh, also, we can reduce the. There we go. got now so in here you can see you've got 0.1 of a volt selected look at that again by the way the probe I'm using is a times 10 probe from Tektronics from another scope I have so uh, having a look at that we can look at some of the um, functions of the scope First of all, you have to look at these options down the bottom. Those are all changed by the select switch and the other switches. So first of all, we go to the select. At the moment, it's on the five millisecond. When I press, it goes to auto. That's for the trigger. That's for the slope with triggering, leading edge and falling edge. Next one is the um, trigger point then it's horizontal uh, level where you want to place the horizontal waveform this is the vertical point we've gone back to five millisecond so I'll show you how to change that if you keep looking see that's gone to two millisecond one millisecond I'm pressing the switch here which is the up if you do it the other way it goes up to 10 milliseconds, 20 seconds, 50 milliseconds, etc. Okay. Now, that's the triggering mode, so you can go uh, normal, singular waveform. So when it triggers, it just captures one waveform, and you can go back to uh, autumn if you want. 
Okay. Um, what we have here as well is a couple of uh, pots for changing the shape of the waveform. If I can get that to um, so in here, what you can do with the switch with these pots, you can you can um, adjust them so your wave waveform is square. That is to remove the capacitance when using the um, oscilloscope test, you know, probe. Uh, obviously, um, many people have their own test probes, so they all have different capacitance. So that's how to adjust the waveforms. Uh, both pots will give you some adjustment. Okay. Um, Let's have a look at some of these switches here. So that's signals from the device itself. Some of them have signals. testing the actual device itself so it does work there's a couple of um, other functions which you may experiment with uh, when you press some of these switches together it can uh, capture your waveform and store it into memory you will have to refer to your own documentation for that there's a variety of these options and I'll try and put them up with the uh, video Thanks for watching.